is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Speak Louder. Say wonderful. Say your name shall be called wonderful until the second born. Mm. Touch your neighbor, say your, your name shall be called wonderful. Hallelujah. He says, Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Now, the most important thing part, I want to pick up something here. I want to show you something because today I have a simple assignment that I release something to you that in your natural world, in your earth, you can touch what heaven has to offer. That is my assignment today in the name of Jesus Christ. First touch somebody say today, between today and tomorrow you must touch heaven on earth in some way in the name of Jesus Christ. That is my assignment. So the Bible is speaking to us about something very important. Something very important for us. He says, for unto us a child is born. Now, I want us to, I don't know, I like to analyze scripture. So I want us to do it together. This, this, this statement means that a child has been born. And a son has been given to us. But if we decipher the understanding of the scripture, we know that this child is Jesus and this child is God. So he's trying to tell us that for unto us, God is born. Are you with me? But God cannot be born. He is just being translated from a different realm into another realm. He's just moving. In our normal language, it, it will be like the person, the, the, the thing we call a passing. Like how Jesus, according to the spirit, according to the Bible, we say he's on the cross and he gives up his spirit. The only reason why he gives up his spirit is so that he can ascend into another realm. So that is the thing, the way that the spiritual things work. So here, when the scripture is saying that the child is born unto us, he's essentially saying that he has moved from his dwelling place and he has stepped into your dwelling place. God, I pray somebody is here. So in other words, he's saying God has come out of himself and he has come into your dwelling place. Today, heaven has come on earth. Heaven has come to the earth. I want you as I minister unto you and as the spirit of the Lord gives us deeper understanding of this that you understand that you are no longer allowed to protect the things of the earth because your heavenly father has already been born into your world the fact that he has been born look i've explained something to you when heavenly portals are created like how i explained that elijah created a portal that portal is in existence by the way it is the Bible says toward the end of the times, toward the last days, Elijah will come back. I hope that you understand that it is talking about the entirety of who Elijah is and he will come back in person. But it means that the portal that was established there will have come in its entirety upon a man. Because it says in the book of Luke, when it is talking about John the Baptist, John the Baptist is sent in the spirit and the power of Elijah. That means that everything that Elijah was, John the Baptist had the power and authority to do. But the Bible also says that he did not, this John the Baptist, he did not do any miracles. That means that the potential was there, but he was not able to attain that potential. That means when the portal is open, for all of us that will align ourselves to what the portal is giving us, we will be able to partake of everything that is given unto us. If you will give yourself to God, you will be the next Elijah. You don't understand me. Touch somebody, say you will be the next Elijah. Now the same way the portal is open, when we open a portal, it's like we open a pipeline from heaven to earth. So in the same way, when Jesus is born, it is heaven being birthed on the earth. Touch somebody. Say it is heaven being birthed 
on the earth. When the Bible says that let everything that is in heaven, the Bible says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy what? Thy kingdom come, thy be done, say, on earth as it is in heaven. So it means there is a translation from heaven to the earth. And when Jesus is born, he is God, but he's been gone. He's been born on the earth. It is heaven coming and taking its dwelling place on the earth. Touch your neighbor, say today, heaven has touched your family, has touched your household, has touched your life, has touched your business in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not live life as a mere mortal. You will live life according to the standard of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody celebrate Jesus. This is what he's talking about. So if God has been born in the earth, it means that he has created a portal and there's been an extension of everything that is the heaven into our world. Touch your neighbor, say, if you remain poor, you'll get a new. Say, if you remain poor, it is your problem. If you remain sick, it is your problem because heaven has already touched earth. When heaven touches earth, everything that we know literally possible in the heaven is accessed by us while we are on the earth. So it means for a man who will align themselves to what God has to offer, you receive it. The Bible says he's not a respecter of persons. Let me show you something. There are about three things I want to show you. Give me the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. The Bible says every good gift, can we read this together? Say every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Okay, let me read it properly. Okay, let's read properly. Say every good gift and every perfect gift is from heaven. Say and heaven has come down here right now. That means that portal is going to release every good gift unto you and release every perfect gift unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is nothing that the earth can give you, but the heaven can give you everything. So if the portal is open, somebody starts to expect good things to happen in your life. Between now and end of year, there must be things that you have received that you have not been able to receive in the name of Jesus Christ. This is what the Lord is trying to help us understand. And he says, He cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. He does not respect people. He does not change his mind. If he says yes, he means yes. If he says increase, he means increase. If he says go forward, ah! If he says be alive, no man shall take you before the time comes. It doesn't matter what the enemy plans on your life. First touch your neighbor, say, it doesn't matter. Say, the weapons don't matter because I know the end. Say it again. Say, the weapons don't matter because I know the end and the end is glorious. It doesn't matter. I told you, the best way that you can actually outwit the enemy is to know, perfectly know that the end is already a settled matter. Let me show you something. Have you ever... Okay, there are many men here. Touch a man if he's near you. And the lady who... <laughs> Amen. You know football? You watch football? I think there's a match showing today. No? I don't know. So, when you watch football... You can be, I don't know how it happens, but like I know you can be anxious. Sometimes you can't sit. It is as though you're the one in the field. 
where the ball is going is where you're going. It is as though the screen is moving. It is as though you're the one playing the game. So when they're about to score, it is as though you want to score. You are in the thing. You understand? But after you have finished that game, and they replay it tomorrow. Because you know the final results. Right? It doesn't matter. Because you know that this, this goal, this kick they gave to the goal, it failed. Ah, I don't have to watch it again. That is the way of the devil. Touch your neighbor say, the end is already settled. So it doesn't matter what he tries to do. The end is already settled. So when he puts a weapon before you, Ngambina neighbor, that is the time to celebrate. That is the time to celebrate because you know the end from the beginning. You are not afraid of what it is he might do or will do. You enjoy your life because you know whatever weapon he forms against you, it shall not it shall never prosper. God deserves a hand clap. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, the Greek word that means that is for heaven is what we call Uranus. It is a Greek word. But it means that something good, something pleasant, something extraordinary, something supernatural, this heaven, the word heaven. So, in as much as we know heaven to be heaven and earth to be earth, when we talk about heaven coming on earth, Ngambila neighbor, something good has come to your house. Something pleasant has come into your chambers. Something extraordinary has already entered the gates of your house. The gates of your house. Something extraordinary. In other words, before you leave today, I don't care how you left home. I don't care how you left home. But before you go back home today, in the name of Jesus Christ, something extraordinary will be at your home in the name of Jesus Christ. I need you to receive the word of the Lord with understanding. Touch your neighbor, say, something extraordinary will have entered your pockets. Something extraordinary will be on your phone. Whatever you don't expect. Because heaven has come literally on the earth. You are going to touch. You are going to experience in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to hear a shout. Hallelujah. So when the Bible says that a son has been born unto us. He says a child is born. And the son is given unto us. And the government shall rest upon his shoulders. That means the entire rule of the kingdom has come here. Nabila neighbor, base. The base is on the earth. It is not there. The base is in you. Heaven is in you. You decide what happens. You decide what does not happen. Nabila neighbor, whatever it is you accept, you shall receive. If you receive, if you accept today to receive overflowing goodness, I guarantee you, before the year ends, you will have received it in reality in the name of Jesus Christ. So the base has changed. There is something deep here. The Bible says, and the child is born unto us. God just passed from that realm and made his dwelling place here. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 14, and the word and God became flesh. I don't want to read like that. And God became flesh. And the next scripture says, and he dwelt. Someone say in me. And he dwelt in. So the power to alter your circumstances is residing on the inside of you. The power to change your financial status is already on the inside of you because heaven is on the inside of you today if you shall decree a thing it shall forever be established because heaven is on the inside of you in the name of jesus now if god says heaven has come i have a simple simple thing for us to do touch your neighbor say prophetic action touch somebody say prophetic action we have one prophetic action and that action is going to move us are going to move everything that is heaven into your earthly realm. 
Hallelujah. If you know that heaven has power, power is going to come into your situation. If you know that heaven has absolute authority, that authority is going to be released unto you. If you know that heaven has no luck, first touch your neighbor, say no luck. You are going to chase away luck from your life forever. I want us to understand this little thing before we do the prophetic instruction. The opposite, listen to me, look at me. The opposite of what the earth has to offer you is what you are going to receive after today. So if the world, as an evil and fallen world, offers famine, offers luck, offers these things, the opposite is going to be true. You are going to step into abundance, step into overflowing goodness, step into righteousness, step into the things that heaven has to offer. Touch your neighbor, say bye-bye. Someone was giving a testimony the other day and said bye-bye. What? You don't remember. Touch your neighbor, say bye-bye sorrow. Bye-bye pain. Heaven has come in my situation. When heaven appears in your situation, you are going to say bye-bye sorrow, bye-bye pain, bye-bye luck, bye-bye failure. I command the success of the Lord to go ahead of you. I command the goodness of the Lord to go ahead of you. I command the abundance of the Lord to go ahead of you. May the Lord showcase his glory through you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody celebrate Jesus. So the Lord's intention is to make sure that the thing that is in your life that is not something that heaven has to offer. Are you hearing me? Quite a neighbor. Mugambe chintu chona e chiri mubula muvo sa wazino na ye nge gulu te chiri kiriza lero te chikenda siga la mbula muvo are you with me? It cannot stay. Because God, I don't have the time. God stepped into the earth by his being given birth. You know, you know it's a very funny thing. God became a child. You think he wasn't intelligent? You think he wasn't wise? It was God. By all means, the, the, by all the means that he is God, he was understanding. And he was full of wisdom. But he allowed himself to be carried like a baby. To be taken where to go. To be clothed. To be bathed. He was God. He was of full understanding. It is as though he was undercover. Ngambira neighbor, undercover for me. So that he can fulfill something on my behalf. It's like you get a special forces agent. And they put them in another person's life. Be like, stay there for 30 days, for 30 years. Be there. I want you to accomplish something for the next person that is coming. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Ngambira neighbor, he was un undercover. So that by the time he's done, he has opened the door of heaven for me. He became stupid. He became an intelligent. He became... I don't know. Poor. He became all those things so that he can create a portal for us to receive the opposite. So today, heaven has come and touched the earth on your behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. This is what he wants us to have. Like I said, I'm going to emphasize it because this is why I've been sent today. And this is why I've been anointed. Whatever anointing the Lord has placed in me today is going to shift you and is going to bring heaven into your situation in the name of Jesus Christ. That is the only point. Touch your neighbor say, is there a lack? Is there a famine? Is there a drought? Is there a failure? Is there a prayerlessness? Whatever it is, heaven is going to invade your earthly territory and everything is going to be turned upside down. Somebody had better celebrate. You know I like to celebrate. 
ah, I feel like dancing. But I like to celebrate because I know that when God gives me the word, he has essentially finished what it is he wants to do. So for me today, whatever situation has been in my life, as I step out of this place today, I am stepping into the opposite of what I walked in here with. Whatever I walked in here with, I live in this place. As I step out, I am going into the heavenly realm. Are you with me? Ngambira neighbor, chona che wa ingi dena cho. Toki disi wa follow manacho. If it is not for heaven, as you step out, you are stepping out in another place, in another realm, in the name of Jesus Christ. And as you know, touch your neighbor. Say prophetic window. Prophetic window. Ngambira neighbor, sente wa ziba te ziri wo. Ngawa ingi dete ziri wo. Look at me. Focus your eyes on me. I'm not speaking as a man. Focus your eyes on me. Say, if you entered this place and there was no money, I prophesy in the name of Jesus that as you step out, the money will arrive in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall give you the confirmation that surely I have not walked out as the earth. I've walked out in another realm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Touch your neighbor say, if you walked in with pain, if you walked in with pain, you walked in with sickness, you walked in with disease, in the name of Jesus, I take away the pain by the power of the Holy Spirit. And as you step out, the Lord shall fulfill his word over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch your neighbor say, the best part is that every word that the Lord has spoken to you, you shall begin to see in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. These are exciting times for me. Because, I mean, like I always do, the only thing I'm sent here is to release. That is the only thing I come to do. So touch your neighbor and say, today, today, 26. Today is 26. Touch your neighbor and say, today, you might not expect much, but heaven has a lot to release to you in the same day. In the same day, you are going to receive unexpected things in this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody shout unexpected miracles. Unexpected miracles. People are going to do you good according to his word. When heaven steps into the earth, I hope we all understand that heaven, we understand heaven as the dominant factor, as the creative force. It is where the command center is. So in other words, God is saying that I've opened up the source for you. You shall not be receiving handouts. You have essentially stepped into the place where you receive as much as you can carry, as much as you can handle, as much as your hands can give you. It is the place, the source of all things good. Touch your neighbor, say, as you enter heaven today. Mugambe Bulunj, as you enter heaven today, make sure that you come out with something. That shall be our prophetic action today and the Lord shall fulfill his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody celebrate the Lord.